Hello, my viewers, welcome to the channel. And my video title, what this video is about. The Can We Adjust is back for another week. And the question today is, is Kenny Pickett the spark the Pittsburgh Steelers need? In my opinion, I say yes. Kenny Pickett just brought a different feel out there. If you're just a casual fan, like people be saying, casual fans is one that's just watching, just looking at the score and be like, oh, look, he threw three interceptions, like that. But you actually watch the game, you can just feel the, the shift of momentum and you can feel the shift of, like, just confidence. Kenny came in there, very confident. Not afraid. Of course, the first throw was interception. I bet that more on Chase Claypool. You're like 6'4". You had like a small 5'9", 5'10", um, DB on you. You got And you, he threw the ball inside of you, too. You can't be falling down looking for the P.I. You got to go up there and make the play like that. You see George Pickens on the other side. We got throwing those balls like that. Well, like, you're like, okay, I got nowhere to go. Throw the Pickens. Pickens, you know what Pickens did? He boxed them out and got inside of him, stacked them, got inside of him, and made play every time like that. So yeah, I think Kenny Pickett want to learn. You know, of course, you look back in film. You want to throw those chance balls? Throw those to Pat Fryer move. Throw those to Pickens. Cause those guys will actually make a play on the ball instead of trying to look for a penalty. But um Kenny Pickett just brought a different dynamic to it, you know. Um we had we had, like like electric feel. You can just feel like the switch like that, cause like when he came in the game, I, I was it was it was surprisingly too, like see him come in the game in the second half. He usually don't make a switch like that. But he came in the game, um, and he just went out there and he just looked confident after that first interception. He, he didn't let that bother him. He came back next drive, and what he do? He threw a threw a pass, a little, a little pass like that to the on like the goal line area, and then he went out there. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's Mike Evans. I'm, the game is on right now. He went out there, and he ran, and um, put his body on the line. We haven't seen that in a while. Like, a quarterback putting their body on the line, getting in for the end zone like that. Of course, Big Ben did in the old days, keeping plays alive, and he picked it that twice. You know, got in the end zone twice like that. We've seen the, the QB sneak, and then you've seen the one he got loose and got in there like that. we just seen a quarterback who kept plays alive, who wasn't afraid to let it rip, and who was, like, confident in himself and confident in his legs and confident in his arm like that. And, like, he just made things happen. Like, it just felt like a different mental So We should have won that game, really, because we was up double uh, double um, score lead. Like, we, had, we was up by 10 points. Should have kept the lead. We started playing conservative on defense and let out too many yards. And on offense, we started playing a little conservative, too. But I think you give Kenny Pickett a full week of starter reps. You give him a full week of preparation. Uh, they're looking forward. And then the defense, keep that same energy and play like that. And I think we can go out there and make some noise because the defense been playing their tails off. They've been playing like lights out and holding teams in like that. You see Mika Fitzpatrick, defensive player of the year campaign, is still on. He's going out there and making plays. And you see Cam Sutton, like I said, is our best cornerback. And you got Arthur Mallette balling out there. Devin Bush balling. Miles Jack balling. Cam Hayward, Chris Wong. Everybody is balling. Marvin Lee, I've been hearing his name a lot. He's been playing very good the past two weeks like that. But we just can never put points up, so defense get tired eventually like that. But I think you give Kim Pickett full preparation and that spark and that energy that he brought, the momentum that like the switch that like, came on like that, he was like how he was confident. He didn't let any of that stuff like phase him, like the interception, like that. I think he let that stuff phase him. He just went out there and just played confident. He wasn't throwing, he wasn't like hesitant when he see it like this and like nah, he was just he was, he'd see it. And once you, you know, like, as a quarterback, it's kind of like driving a little bit. You know, you like pull out. You like oh car pass I'm gonna go you can't you can't be like pushing like riding your brakes you got to just go like that once if you saw it you let it you let it rip the path Ryan moves path let it rip Pickens let it rip like that he was just finding his guys like that and giving his guys chances and throwing like nice balls to him too like that to the chest on the sideline throwing it back shoulder so they don't catch it it just go out of bounds like that he just showed a lot of confidence in himself. And I said that in the preseason, too, before. I was like, Kenny Pickett has a lot of confidence. He looked, the, he looked like the most confident quarterback on the team like that. As you see, uh, the, the, the plays he made, we see him do the two-minute drive, the, uh, the game-winning drives like that in preseason. People are like, well, it's just preseason. But he was playing with some starters. You know, some of those guys going to play a little bit. I know some of the backups is in like that. But now we see him in live game. You see, like, okay, there it go. He had the two, the two rushing touchdowns in. Of course, the three interceptions on the stat sheet going to be there. But I only count one as his fault. The other two. Uh, no, no, the last one was a heave up to the end zone for Hail Mary to see and you come down to miracle play. Then the, uh, the, first, the first one, Chase Claypool, you can't be falling for the penalty. You got to go for the ball. But I think Kenny Pickett overall had a solid debut, a solid debut. I think, of course, he'll go back and watch film. He'll get full preparation, and he'll be ready if he do start. Hopefully, he start. I know Mike Tomlin's saying that it's not certain yet, but, you know, he always say stuff. He'll say a lot of things, so you, like, forget what question you're asking. But he always say neutral in the middle. He ain't going to tell you exactly what. Well, um, who will be starting? But by the end of the week, we probably find out who will be starting. But I think Kenny Pickett can go out there and give us a spark. He can bring some energy like he did in his Jets game. I know we lost the game like that, but it's felt like a different feel on offense. Like we felt like the offense, the ball was moving, and it felt like we had like a better feel and like a. And and why not have the rookie in there? If you're gonna see rookie mistakes and see people like turn the ball over or see bad throws and hesitant and stuff, why not see it with the rookie so he can learn like that? Not from a guy who's been in the league for like five six years, you know. So Kenny Pickett starting, I'm all for it. 
And I feel like he can bring a spark and be a spark in that juice the Steelers need to get back on track. And we're one and three right now. I know the loss that happened. I'm not really that down by the loss because of seeing like, you know, Kenny Pickett and seeing the future of the Steelers QB position like that. But I'm 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 still I'm a little pumped. A little pumped to see the next the next week's game and see how we perform under the new, you know, new quarterback play. And I hope it's great. But if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.